today I got an update for you all. Um, we're going to be saying goodbye to the Volvo. Um, I just got confirmation that I'm going to be trading it for another vehicle. It's a surprise. And I will let you guys know when we get it. But it should provide a lot more content. So that's why I'm getting it. I love this car. I didn't want to get rid of it. But things have to change. More room for the family and everything. So I will let you guys go. And I will see you after a little bit. Welcome back. This is the following day for the video I did yesterday about me getting rid of the Volvo. Well, I traded the Volvo for a 96 Suburban. Uh, it has a 4 inch lift and I do got these tires right here. I got for it too, 35s that I'm going to be putting on it hopefully today and hopefully on a video that will be up in the next couple days but I got it's not bad looking it's Rhino lined um, and everything so but there's one thing I want you guys opinion on should I get rid of this skull or not this skull that's right here cause anyway I want to get rid of it I don't like it but as you guys can see seats are a little beat up I do got the door panel in the back for it and here's the other the other back seat and then back there has more tires so and it has a little bit it needs a bumper but that stuff is nothing I won't change the thermostat on it today that will probably be, be today's video because it just doesn't get hot enough for me. I think that's a, like a 180 or 175 uh, thermostat. I'm going to put a 195 in it. And the light bar does work. Um, but yeah, that will probably be today's video. And in the next day or so will probably be the tire video. But... I just thought I'd let you guys in on the secret. I will talk to you later. Guys, um, right now I'm going to be take, putting those big tires onto here. And then I will show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Well, I got the rims and tires on. I got the trimming done. So here's what it looks like now. I think it looks a lot better. Then with the tiny tires. So, yeah. I gotta get uh, water out of this rear tire. And then I gotta get a rim transferred. So, so I have all the same rims. Because this tire is no good. So, there's the front. Yeah, it looks a lot better. I had to go up on the torsion keys a little bit to level it out, but it looks good to me. So, uh, later today I'm going to do a thermostat. So, and I'll record that and that will be another day. But that will be all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications of when I post videos. Alright guys, have a good day. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the opposite day than what I said it would be. So, I'll be doing the thermostat in this truck. It has the 5.7 in it. And I thought I'd bring you guys along. So, since it's not very hard.
All right, guys, let's hold on a minute. I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to run and grab a tool. I'm just about to pull it off right now. And here's the new thermostat I'm putting on it. Don't forget to hook up your ground wires again. That's just about it for a thermostat. All I do is grab some coolant. And I'm going to put 
some coolant in the reservoir too. I always put a little more past the full line, that way in case if it does leak or it sucks down some more, I'll have plenty in there and I won't have to worry about overheating. So then all I gotta do now is to put, I'm gonna dump water where I spilt, spilt coolant down in there and then That'll be it for this job. That's what I like about these older OBS trucks. They're easy to work on. So, I just thought I would show you guys doing that. So, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And share. Hit the like button and everything. So, thank you guys. I will talk to you guys later.